Now, if you're under 21, you need to leave your computer. Because I'm going to talk about my travel underwear now, my grandma underwear. <laughs> Hey everybody, Chip Hanauer, the boat guy here at Boat Guy Headquarters. So, uh, we got a meeting, a boat guy meeting, uh, but then we want to get the hell out of here. So, we're <laughs> going to leave this meeting, and we're going to get on the boat, and we're going to go to Kingston for the night. And that's what's great about having a boat. You just go, we keep a toothbrush and a pair and set of clothes on the boat, and we're going to Kingston for the night. So, uh, I got to go to this meeting, and then uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, meeting's over. Oh my god, I thought that never end. So, what time is it? Four. Four o'clock. So let's just go down the Elliott Bay, get on the boat, and go to Kingston and see what happens. out of downtown and out of the slip and the Kingston. So you know what's really nice about this Ranger? It's easy. And for two knuckleheads that don't know much that are learning, easy is good. And even if I didn't have Sam with me, I could come take this boat out by myself. Not many boats you can do that. One of the most amazing aspects of being on the water for me is the light. So look at this, there's obviously a little storm cell coming this way, but look at the color. And then look out up to the north where we're headed. It's just beautiful. Amazing run up here. I think it took us, I don't know, hour. Uh, beautiful, get to Kingston. It's dead calm. The light's beautiful. Uh, the beer's cold. We got shore, shore power hooked up. Heater's going. Uh, I think they have food and libation right up there. Yeah. Everybody thinks it's easy being the boat guy. Well, it's not. It's just not. Okay, we had a great trip over here to Kingston in Boat Guy 1, but you know, you can do that even if you don't own a boat. You can just get on a Washington State Ferry, the people's yachts, and uh, just come over. It's got a great sandy walking beach, beautiful restaurants, pubs, and you won't have to spend the night on a boat with Sam, but I'll tell you about that another time. First question I have to ask is, why do people winterize a boat? We've only had this boat in the winter. We got it in December and we've been using it and this is another great example. This is boating 365 days a year in this area. 
we decided to make a quick trip to Kingston. We left the LA Bay Marina in the pouring rain. Had a beautiful, amazing trip up there. As you can see, we're having a beautiful trip back. Um, being on the water in the Northwest, it's part of why you want to live in the Northwest. <laughs> 